the number one reason for failure of maxillary molar root canal treatments is a missed MB2 canal. I'm Dr. Jabil Rajan and welcome to my channel specially dedicated to clinical endodontics. In today's video, I'm going to be guiding you through the tips and tricks and also the steps on how I identify missed canals in my molar retreatment cases. First, you need to remember that molars, maxillary first and second molars have very high incidences of a maxillary or mesiobuccal second canal. So the first step is look at all your molars as suspect where they have an MB2. Second, what you need to do is you need certain equipments and gadgets in order to search and find these canals. One valuable tool is magnification. Yes, magnification can come in the form of microscopes. Some prefer to use dental loops. For me, my recommendation is to use a good microscope. The next valuable tool is a CBCT. Well, I would say a CBCT is a boon to an endodontist. It really helps you identify that canal without any effort of you trying to go in and search. It's like a GPS to me. What's very important here is I expose my patients to a small field of view cone beam computer tomography. These, are, these slices usually have only about three teeth in the field and uh, the two points are one, patient radiation is minimized and second, because of the smaller uh, field of view, the sections are more clear or the clarity is a lot more compared to larger field of views. Let me guide you through the steps of how I read my CBCT to find the elusive canal. So let's go. this picture shows a preoperative radiograph of a patient. Uh, the patient was diagnosed with uh, previously treated uh, with asymptomatic apical periodontitis. And my treatment plan for this patient was to do a non-surgical retreatment, which is, was a two-visit procedure. As you can see, um, there is a radiolucent lesion seen in the apex of the mesiobuccal root. I don't see two canals obturated. Sometimes the MB2 could, could be just, you know, behind the MB1 and uh, you may need to do a tube shift in order to see but it's very clear and evident that they have not found a second canal if if there is a second canal so now we subject this patient to a cbct and uh, yes so sections we get in a cbct you can see axial coronal and sagittal what you see here the red circle on the preoperative radiograph is where i make the section and that's what I get, the information I get. Let's look through every section. Let's begin with the axial. So what do we see here? You see three white dots. So they are the canals that were obturated. You have the MB1, the distobuccal, and the palatal. What about the MB2? Well, that is the MB2. It's clearly visible on the scan and if you can see an MB2 there, you can be sure the canal is patent and it's very easy to negotiate to the apex. Now, next what would I like to do? I would like to look at the coronal section. Coronal section clearly shows three points here. One is the size of the lesion. I can see the lesion is large and I can see the lesion is more towards the palatal side of the mesiobuccal root. Now, look at that. The width of the root, it's wide, and I don't find the GP in the center, but I find it rather to one side. So this gives me a clear picture that the MB2 is somewhere there. In this particular image, it is not very clear, but somehow the axial gives us more information. In some patients, I do find in the coronal sections as well. Okay, so now that we have this, we are sure that there is an MB2 and you can look at the sagittal. That is a sagittal view. I can see the MB1 which is obturated. I can see some sealer 
extrusion as well. And look at this section. This is another section of the same sagittal view. You can see the MB2 canal is visible here. And look at the size of the lesion. Compare both the sections. This section is more palatal and you can clearly see the lesion is large at the apex. So these points are more than sufficient for me to know that there is an MB2 and I need to go there and find it, shape it, disinfect and obturate the canal. So the workflow for this patient is going to be first identify the missed MB2 canal. That's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to find the canal. Second, you look at the tooth structure, there's a lot of destruction of tooth structure. So I'm going to place a molar band and I'm going to do a pre-buildup. I'm going to be using SDR, I'm going to do a pre-buildup. After I remove, after I do a pre-bend or buildup, that's when I'm going to go back in, remove the gutta perka, whatever was there, negotiate the canals to working length, shape them, disinfect them, and then obturate them. Let's look at the videos, okay, very short clips, okay, just follow them and let's see how it's done. Well, thank you for watching my video and uh, please do subscribe to my channel.